So Chris and I right now are in Wyoming. The bus had some issues. It broke down like an hour and a half south of us. Basically we ended up um, being really close to an awesome special area. So the plan is to pack everything up today. We just ran into town and got everything we needed. So right now we are just taking our time to prep and make sure we have everything we need for the backcountry. <laughs> So right up here, Chris just spotted, oh, it's moving out now. Uh, it has its baby too. A moose with a baby. Is that the path? It's like on the path. Oh, that baby is cute. I am just so excited. So right now we are hanging out and just waiting for them to do their thing and move because right here we have to cross that little creek and the path continues basically right in here. So we don't wanna get too close and risk anything. It's a really steep climb this last like mile. <laughs> yeah, we're, we're dying. And of course, Keel no longer has her pack on. Classic. <laughs> I am taking my pick of these nymphs. Chris is over there. We've already seen some big trout. And they're just starting to top feed for the evening. All right, I got a fish on. We're getting some fish on, some beautiful fish. And we don't have much time left, so we're kind of using tonight to learn what they like at this time of year. And um, tomorrow hopefully will be kind of the big day where we can catch some larger ones and actually clean them and cook them. It's beautiful here. Days like these last With one 
Good morning. Good morning, Kira. Coffee, 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 coffee. Mm. I usually like to bring my AeroPress up here. Wait, where's my coffee? I usually like to bring my AeroPress up here with like freshly ground coffee, but I haven't done a hike like this in a while and I just didn't want the extra weight. So instant coffee it is, which is still wonderful when you're up in the mountains. Good morning. There's nothing like hot water for your coffee in the morning to nope. clean out your hey. pan from the from the night before. So our coffee has a little bit of mac and cheese in it. Cleaned off my spoon too. Lovely. Let's go sit <coughs> over there and watch the sunrise. Let's do it. I am changing out this leader for today because it is getting awfully short. So for this trip, um, I am using my very first fly rod, the Reddington Path. I love this rod, mostly because of the weight, but uh, I recently got two of the Trailblazers, which are made for like backcountry stuff. But for this time, I just brought up my path. He brought up his Trailblazer because we forgot one of the Trailblazers in the bus, which is like two hours south. Time for a new leader. And then we are hitting the water, basically for the whole day. Our plan is to pack lunch and just make a big loop around this entire lower lake. I think that, uh, I think that today we should have a pretty nice meal of trout. Although I do not want to speak too soon. But the fish were quite active this morning and I'm really excited to get down there. So I'm going to change this leader, get fishing. Oh, he's coming at it.
That's an awesome one, babe. Good, good catch. <laughs> it's amazing. He's big. That's a great fish. I know. So obviously, we are catching these to cook them later this evening. So I'm just going to briefly go through without showing much how, I, how I'm cleaning them. A while ago when I first started fly fishing for trout, I made the mistake of trying to fillet my trout, which essentially wastes meat. Um, so this is what I've learned to do now. So on the bottom of my trout, basically, I'm gonna first start by cutting this V away from the gills. Once that is done, I'm just going to be making a cut all the way up my trout and that way I can just pull everything out from the center of my fish. It's just completely gutted then. I won't show this part, but I'll show you what it looks like after because there's an important step. This very middle part here running along the spine, I believe this is the kidney. <clears throat> and this I just scrape off with my thumb or the knife. And once that is out, then you have a fish that is all ready for cooking. Well, Akilah's brought up a place here to lay down and take a rest. Man, so good. The fishing here is incredible. This is probably the best trout fishing I've experienced in the last two years. We had some mac and cheese left over from dinner, so I'm gonna polish this off for lunch and then see if I can get any of these decent sized trout on my line. <laughs> One. 
one. <laughs> Go get him, Akila. Go get him. Go get him. Oh, it's cold, Akila. <laughs> Well, what do you think about making trout on a mountain like this? It's pretty amazing. First half of the fish down. We just finished eating the tail of my big trout. What do you think? This is so good. This is the first time I've been out in nature and caught trout. I've done bass, I've done salmon, I've done halibut, but never gone out, caught a fish, and then brought it back to camp and cooked it. It's very good. <laughs> and I think we have plenty here with these two fish. Absolutely. This is my last cup of coffee up here. I think we might do a little bit more fishing uh, and then we gotta head out and make the make the trip back. Just begun. 